hey what's up everybody welcome back to another rl craft video but today you know this isn't a stream highlight instead i'm sitting here i'm recording this straight up now we are in our world a backup of our world not our actual world here and if you aren't caught up caught up to the streams then obviously you'll you'll be missing a good bit of information here so i won't show off too much of the house and what's going on but yeah as you can see by the title we are about to cause some mayhem you know i wanted to see what happened if i were to add in a gun mod to rl craft and i kind of wanted to get some revenge on some dragons with this mod so yeah this is just a backup of our original world i'm just going to delete this world uh, once we're done with it because obviously i'm gonna get rid of the mod that we have installed which is the tech guns mod which is probably one of the best gun mods for 1.12 there might be better but you know i just typed in gun mods for 1.12 and this is what came up and it looked pretty good compared to a couple of the other ones but yeah there's a lot of weapons in it but you know we're just going to be checking out these first couple of weapons here and you know might as well let's change out our armor here there we go you we kind of got the uh like fallout ranger outfit they don't have the cool looking helmet but i think everything else is fallout inspired for some reason this gives you a slow debuff so who knows how long i will wear this because i don't like when uh things give me like a slow debuff because look it like pushes up our fov and then when we take it off our fov is fine so maybe i won't even wear that at all but yeah we got a couple of guns here we're gonna be testing now you know we're just gonna start with these basic guns here um like i said there's a lot of them we probably won't go over all of them but we'll try and go over a bunch of cool ones but let's start with these right here let's start with these right here we got our akm which is pretty much like an ak-47 this is the same variant of weapon i'm assuming bolt action sniper rifle which does this have a scope it does indeed have a scope we have the vector and of course we got the double barrel shotgun and uh you know let's go ahead let's put this to the test you know what if rl craft had guns or what happens if i added a gun mod to rl craft let's just test on this villager right here what's up man <laughs> as you can see hopefully the audio isn't too loud i already turned it down a good bit but uh, as you can see, these can get a bit destructive. Oh my god. I didn't know they added in limb dismemberant. Oh my god, that was brutal. Now, let me test it out on some uh, lycanite mobs. Because you guys know how I feel about lycanites. I hate the mods so much. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's test it out on this guy. Oh man. Even when I'm using gun mods, the lycanite monsters still be spawning each other from killing each other. But yeah, those guys obviously don't dismember because they're not vanilla mobs. Let's, let's try it out on a chicken here. What's up? Jesus. <laughs> and now uh, we got our AK and our vector. Or, uh, actually, we just used the vector. Let's try the AK on uh, Joina. I'm sorry, Joina. You've been here for a minute. You know, this is just an alternate reality. So you're not actually dead. Oh, so they don't have any cool dismember? All right. Well. <laughs> oh what about the what about the rabbits? The rabbits don't got anything cool. Oh, no, that rabbit exploded. Maybe it's like a chance for it to explode. I'm sorry, Joe. You got to go too. I just want to see if he explode. Explode. What? Come on. I'm trying to see the a cool exploding animation. But yeah, these are the four basic guns. You know, we're going to put these to the test against some dragons. Because dragons, you know, they've always beat my ass in RL Craft until uh, recently. If you watch the more recent streams, then you'd know that we are destroying dragons. Spoiler alert. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's find some dragons and uh, let's, let's put these guns to the test against them. So I was just flying around looking for dragons. And apparently this mod adds in its own, like, mobs that it spawns in, as you can see here. Let's let's check these guys out. Now, I got this little weapon here called a rocket launcher and uh you know let's might as well put it to the test on them beautiful exactly how i expected it you know it's a rocket launcher it blows stuff up zombie miner okay nice to know it might get a little dark over here zombie soldier this one has a gun kind of scary this dude over here looked like a regular dude bandit Instead of a dragon, I have found a Cyclops. Oh, he he does not want to get shot. He's shaking his head. He knows what's about to happen. I'm sorry, man. It's got to happen. It's for the people, for the people that are interested. I can't even see anything. Who did I? Did I hit him? Oh, yeah, we hit him for sure. We hit him for sure. And there goes the Cyclops. That was like three shots from the RPG. I don't even know if the first shot hit him directly or not. So it seems this mod adds in its own little like spawn areas, which is actually kind of cool. If you want to play, you know, with this mod, probably like a zombie pack with this mod. You know, people told me to play a zombie pack. Maybe. I don't know. I have a really good idea for a future mod pack. Two good ideas. And uh, we'll definitely test them out. But, you know, since I'm here, let's test out some of these other uh, weapon variants on these guys. You know, I'll start with the MAC-10, I believe is what this one is called. Is it? Yeah, it is MAC-10. I don't know if you can do with these or not we'll test that out later but let's try the pdw which uh 
think, I believe was also in Kazu. I mean, Kata said like 90% of modern day weapons in it. What is that? You got a double barrel in your hand? I got a combat shotgun. You know, let's test which one's stronger. I mean, well, he's not going to really be able to test it because I'm in creative. But uh, this is still very cool that this mod adds in little little things that spawn everywhere. Always love mods that do that. Adds a lot of life to Minecraft. Oh, speak about life. He doesn't have one anymore. Now, now, would you look at that? We found a Miramax Den. These guys have always given me problems, so I think it's only right that I pull up on them and hit them with a grenade launcher. <laughs> Boom. Damn, that actually killed all of them. I did not think that was going to kill all of them. You know, we're just going to go down here and uh, mess up the queen real quick, you know, just to show her that, you know, all that pain and suffering her and her nest have caused me in the past. You know, she should have just been nice. We should have just been friends, but that ain't happening anymore. What's up, queen? You know, I got this uh, LMG here, and I just wanted to test it out real quick. I'll show you a little peace offering it's not really a peace offering though because i murdered her hey man like in the past if she if she just was like hey game murders you want to be friends with the den then it would have been oh what do y'all what, what do you think they did they're tripping right now look at this you guys are causing a lag spike y'all are tripping right now i know i'm being creative but like come on they, they still trying to bum rush me oh, are these the babies if i were you guys i wouldn't look at what's about to happen My work here is done. You know, some other things that give me trouble in RL Craft is 100% a little mod called Lycanites, which 100% is the worst mod in RL Craft. And there's a lot of bad mods, bad mods as in tough. And uh, this one is a little less tough rather than it is just bad. So let's go ahead. You know, we got this weapon here called the Infiltrator. Might as well test this out. It's got a nice sound to it. Infiltrator, is this a, is this another Fallout reference? Cause I know there's a, there's a rifle. That's a silenced rifle in Fallout 3. Called the Infiltrator. It's a really good weapon. And, uh, you know, these Lycanite dungeons, I haven't really done too many of. I've done, like, one or two. And, uh, you know, I hated them. It's Pong Kong. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's test out the revolver on Pong Kong here. Is he, like, a mini boss? It must have been, like, a mini boss or something. But, yeah, if you don't want to see what, you know, what these dungeons contain, then you probably should just, you know, skip a little forward. Uh, I haven't seen... I've only done one of these dungeons. And usually at the bottom, there's something pretty scary. But usually they also have, you know, enemies like this. Just, like, bigger enemies. Princess. I don't know if that's the word I would use to describe you. Let's go ahead. Let's put the AUG to the test. The AUG does have a scope here. Which is nice. We got a skeleton soldier. Oh, yeah, he's got a Tommy gun on all right, we're down here on the lower levels. I got my Goss rifle out here. You know, let's test it out on this frog. Oh my god. This thing's sweet. Does this pierce? No, it does not pierce. But I love me some Goss rifles. Boom. I hope that's how I say it. Goss? Goss? Something like that. It's gonna be a little foggy down here because there's a mod in RL Craft. Of course there is. But it's fog really weird. You know, I can't really help myself. Let, let's test it right here. We gotta test it right here. That sounds like the. That sounds like the Fallout. I'm, I'm talking about Fallout a lot. I think a lot of things are taken from Fallout. That's why. Is this the boss? Aha, we found the boss. Look at that. Malevolent Observer. Interesting. Let's see if you can observe these flames. You're actually not taking that much damage. That or you have a lot of health. It's either or. Let's, let's see the gauze on it. 82? How much health do you have? 968? Bro, if you, if you have a big ass eye like that and I shot you in your eye, like you would be in pain for sure. This is not really realistic. Come on, come on, RL Craft. You know, big bosses call for big weapons. Let's use this guided missile launcher and let's hope this works. Here we go. Boom. Just just start firing. Oh yeah, this thing. This thing is beautiful. It's not doing a lot of damage. It makes a very loud noise. I don't I don't like that part. But you know, at least we can fire it pretty quickly. Let's test out this laser rifle too while we're at it. That sounds like a fallout noise too. But there you go, the beholder is dead. I don't know what that animation was. That shit was ugly. We have finally found what we were looking for. I don't even know what weapons I have in my inventory. Sonic rifle, Grim Reaper, Scar, we know Scars, Tesla gun, mini gun. Oh, I feel bad for this dragon, honestly. You know, you're kind of hiding over here. You got a nice little home and you're kind of hiding. Let's go ahead, let's test out the uh, Grim Reaper. Oh man, what does this thing do? It just barrages them with the rockets. Oh my god, poor dragon. You know, let's see what health it's at. Oh my god, the dragon's almost dead. What should we finish you off with? Minigun? 
Oh, minigun. You agree? Poor, poor, poor dragon. He never knew what hit him. Hey, man, I ain't telling Shavaxi to add in guns or anything. But, you know, these dragons, they're a little bullshit sometimes. So, you know, give us a little bullshit to work with. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're at a battle tower. I hope that there's a golem at the bottom because sometimes there's not golems at the bottom. But before we go down the battle tower, let's test out this uh, Tesla gun here. And this thing seems nice. It's got some nice velocity to it. As in, it doesn't really arc. It doesn't seem like it arcs is very very nice and uh you know let's go ahead let's take these beautiful women out yeah quote unquote on beautiful you know once you, you see the true side when they take their makeup off what is that thing what is that <laughs> they're like ghost that came out of her when she died all right yeah let's go down the battle tower you know this is another thing that has given me problems in the past oh speak about things that have given me troubles in the past specifically that was like mad dusty when I killed them. Oh, I like punched him and shot him. We got this golden revolver right here. And then, you know, we're just gonna pop some shots into everybody. We got a combat knife right here. Which I'm assuming it's pretty much just like a sword. Can you throw it? No, nope. it's just straight up a knife. Next up, we got this sonic rifle. Holy shit. I did not expect that. You know, let me line this up a little bit. Oh my god. This thing seems pretty good so far. This thing seems like this insta kills and just, you know, those body parts and everything. Honestly, beautiful. Ew, they got like green, like toxic that comes out of them. That's disgusting. You know, as disgusting as the dismemberant is, and, you know, we're just in here just mindlessly killing mobs. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> All right, next up, we got this right here the hand cannon. This thing just sounds strong. Oh. It's literally, it literally just shoots like a cannonball. All right, not as cool as this. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back to using this. So we're starting to get low on our guns, uh, but there's still actually a decent amount left. And I guess I can show off a few armors here and there because I saw one that specifically looked cool to me. But yeah, we got this bio gun right here. It shoots acid. Oh my God. Ew. That's so cool and so disgusting at the same time. Ew. Next up, we got this weapon right here, the Nether Blaster. Just, just seems like it just shoots like fire. We got this thing, Blaster Shotgun. Which is, I'm assuming, a laser shotgun. Oh my god. These boys are getting burnt to a crisp. Next up, we got a chainsaw and we got a mining drill. Now, I don't know if these are specifically used to attack mobs or what. Oh. Okay, that looked like that was used to attack mob. Oh shit, what's up? Now since we're down here, might as well test this out, right? Yeah, test out the drill. It just seems like you just punch things with it. Oh man, but look, you can just do this. Oh, this is sweet. Like I'm sure of destroying the area. And I'm assuming with this, you can cut down trees real fast. You know, there's only two other weapons that I haven't used yet, and I kind of want to use them on a dragon. So let's just, you know, kill this guy with a scar. Maybe even get a little bit of the sonic rifle in there. Boom, bada, bing, bye bye. I'll kill you two just for fun. All right, if you watch some of my recent streams, you know that this area out here that I'm going to is kind of home of the dragons. I've seen a bunch of dragons out here and I uh, try to stay away from it. But here we go, we got one dragon specifically. And uh, as you can see, our weapons here nuclear death ray TFG 10K. Kind of rhyme. Let's, let's go ahead, let's charge up the TFG 10K. I don't know how strong this thing's gonna be. Hopefully we don't miss. I'm charging until it stops making noises. And like I said, hopefully we don't miss. Hopefully we get a direct shot. Come over here, Mr. Dragon. Or Mrs. Dragon. I think this is a Mrs. Oh, here we go. She's standing still. Boom. Oh, we hit her direct shot. We don't really get to see the destruction this thing does. Let's go ahead. Let's go again. While she's standing there. Boom. Oh, my God. Okay, there you go. We got to see a little bit more of the destruction. Maybe I'll aim for underneath her. So I'm editing the video right now and I'm watching this part back and it straight up sounds like I'm speaking a different language. I think I was trying to say maybe this time I'll aim underneath her. Maybe I'll aim for underneath her. Oh my god, that two shot at her and I believe it's a her because I 
females have dark patches on their wings something like that but yeah there's more dragons out here the main reason why i call it land of the dragons i don't think i've ever called it that but i'm calling it that now because look at this there's two more dragons this direction three more dragons this direction i didn't even know that look at these eco terrorists what's out here there was a fourth one they must have killed him they must have killed him he was like brothers we don't have to burn everything and they fucked him up so we got this right here nuclear death ray which sounds like it's gonna be strong so uh you know let's hope that it is we, we gotta shoot one that isn't flying you you look like the smallest one. Oh man i can't hear anything this dude's roaring louder louder than the gun it doesn't seem like a strong weapon honestly i'm kind of upset by that jesus christ that was so loud i thought it was gonna like summon a death ray from the sky but uh you know that's that's fine now i guess we just go back to the tfg see if i can land a shot boom look at the prediction fuck that was terrible boom that's a direct hit that's a direct hit you know i kind of just want to take these dragons down we'll probably do this for real you know when the episodes come or when the stream comes when i take out all these dragons over here so the first armor we're looking at is the power armor mark ii which power armor you know it's a thing very popular because of fallout uh, i don't know if other games had power armor you know i mean they probably had armor that was powered but to call it power armor and for it to look like this you know it's a fallout thing let's go ahead let's check out the mark one which should close more closely resemble fallout looking power armor yeah this one does 100 look like the t45 armor as a fallout fan this is pretty cool next up we got this nether combat armor set you know it looks very familiar to a certain someone and uh you know i feel like it, it belongs in this mod pack mainly because of a certain mod here in this mod pack you know lycanites you know because lycanites just adds in some doom like mobs to it look at this it's almost like we fit in they don't want to stand next to me can you stand next to me you guys are trying to fight something that is dead please stand next to me but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know this is kind of a fun video to make uh it's kind of my first video for minecraft of this type you know i do those terraria videos where it's like doing this dropping a nuke into terraria stuff like that and you know i've always wanted to do it in minecraft and now since we got our you know a decent viewer base for the minecraft section on my channel you know i think it's a perfect time to start dropping videos like this so you know leave some suggestions about some mods you want me to check out and you know just suggestions in general like for example maybe i'll drop a nuke in minecraft and see what happens like we in terraria but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see y'all next time bye 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 some beautiful music that's playing